In earlier videos, we looked at using the form wizard to create a form, and we stayed pretty much in form view. So now we're going to look at how we can use form layout view. And layout view is the view that lets us make design changes while we're browsing the data. So we can move and resize controls, we can add and delete fields, fill and sort, to sort data, or change formatting such as fonts and colors when we use the form layout view. So I have open here the tours entry form and that's what I'm going to use as an example. So the first thing I want to do is click on view and change this to layout view. And once I've changed this to layout view, I'm going to go down to the bottom of my access window. I'm going to move through next record until I get to the Bigfoot Rafting Club record. And the first thing that I would like to do is click on the tour number label here to select it. And it might be already selected and if it is then you don't really have to click on it. And I want to click between the words tour and number, or my abbreviation for number, and I want to put a space in between those two words. So there I've just edited that label. And there are a couple other labels that I would like to make some um, edits or changes to. I want to also put a space here, so you can see that I'm just double clicking to put a space in between tour and name. And I'm going to also go through and add spaces to tour start date. Um, duration and city look OK, but I am going to add that space in between state and abbreviation. So those are a couple of the changes that I want to make to my tours entry form. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click back on tour number on the label and I'm going to go to my home tab because I would like to change the font. So changing the font is really no different than changing your font in Word or Excel or any other program that you've used. I'm going to do that by using the text formatting group on my home tab. So in this case I would like for that label to be red. So I'm just going to choose red. And then I would like to or name to be the same color, so I'm going to choose that there as well. Um, and then I could, you know, make some more formatting enhance enhancements there, but I think that looks good for now. So I'm going to move over to Placerville, which is in the city text box. And once I click to select that, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click CA in the state abbreviation text box because when I hold down shift and click again you can see that that lets me select multiple text boxes in this case two text boxes at the same time so I'm going to release shift and then I'm going to use the pointer to um, drag the right edge closer to the left because we don't need those boxes to be quite so wide or anywhere near as wide really. So now you can see that I have changed also the text box width there. And that is a little bit about how we can change the format of our forms using the layout view.